I have Coach Martelli on FaceTime, but he would like to speak to uh, all those in attendance today uh, on behalf of uh, Serena and her group. I appreciate uh, everybody's time and uh, the, the efforts that this, this event has taken on. Serena is an absolute superstar. Uh, RC mentioned about his uncle, my brother, and uh, I'm not going to be over dramatic, but I am going to say to you that Superman saved, saved my brother's life. Uh, and they embraced him. So when the, op when the opportunity came to pay back, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Um, I salute Serena and everybody at Silouam because of the information that they provided and the uh, the damage, the damage that uh, HIV and AIDS is doing, particularly in our in our younger people, in our 13 to 25 year olds, numbers are staggering. And so, even though it was difficult being away and not having a, a hand on it, uh, having the opportunity to work through RC, Bob Hartshaw, and, and Serena, and all these magnificent coaches, all the coaches I owe a, a debt of gratitude to, and all of the people that, that stepped up and, and volunteered their time, and the young people that came out. Because of the extraordinary young people that you are, you're going to be able to get a message to these neighborhoods, to your families, to your churches, to your teams, and then we want it to be a ripple effect. And then the next finds out, and the next team finds out, and the next school finds out. Uh, so we have work to do, but as I look at you and see all of these spectacular heroes, uh, I'm uplifted knowing that the message will get delivered. And Philadelphia and our Philadelphia area, which is running way ahead, way ahead of national averages, uh, because of your effort, we'll be able to get uh, control. Uh, Serena Angel, she's a really, really special person. Mm -hmm. And all of the people that have helped out, uh, I owe and will be in there. Uh, I'll be indebted to them in whatever way, shape, or form I can help. I think what has happened here uh, with all of us being centered around basketball, for Jermaine Jones to take the flight up from Atlanta and for people to say, well, he's different because he's a pro. Now, he's special because he was a pro. And he wasn't just a pro on the floor for the Sixers and uh, uh, other NBA teams, but he's a pro He's a pro because he knows what it means to give back. And I'm sure if you get him in a private conversation, he'll be able to say he remembers when he was young and someone took the opportunity to stretch their hand out to him. So Jermaine, you're a special guy. Uh, obviously, you know, you make that leak. You're extraordinary. I remember when you were a young guy when we cross paths at USA Basketball, uh, but it's special, it's special. I am indebted to every single person, and if I can do it, and even if it's from a distance, I'm going to do the very best that I can. For everybody there, for Philadelphia to be the head of this thing in terms of an epidemic, that has to stop. And I'm going to stop with all of you today. So, Jermaine, much respect, prayers up to you as we go forward. And I know you have a plan for taking this back to the, uh, Atlanta. So, tell me if I can help you. God bless you, man. Appreciate everybody there. Please, everybody, be safe. And when we're talking about this pandemic, we're going to come out the other side. We're going to come out the other side because we're going to come out of this together. 
This isn't about black or white. It isn't about Atlanta or Philly. This is about us being better human beings when we come out the other side. So thank you to everybody. I am deeply moved to have been a part of this. Thank you. Thank you.